Hello again, it's Priscilla Battelle in Spring Hill, Florida, Expression of Start Studio Gallery. With my OXO omelet turning flip and fold, my basting brush that has only one row left with the rest removed, and my children's beach sand shovel toy, and an 18 by 24 inch pre-primed canvas that I have primed another time. And I want to do some weird stuff. Starting with whatever comes to mind, which will be mixing a few colors, I think, similar colors maybe even. That was a um, folk art neon pink that's matte. That was a color shifting purple flash from folk art. And I am going to just mix my colors to my heart's content. That was a red I don't know what is. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, what do I, I'm looking for an orange. There we go. And then maybe, just maybe, if I have room. Now, what I'm thinking is that I want to drip my paints down. I also want some gold in there. I really do. Whoop, that's not the gold I want in there. That was a necessity to shake that I did not. I do believe it will be okay though. Better. Better and saved. Woohoo! Alright. Let's put some more gold in there because that looked good. And some more orange. Because that looked good too. Actually, they all look pretty good. They look very good. Let's let all that go right over here. And I might be using a basting brush, but I'm gonna spread this out because this is the first time doing this. Now that flow troll that you can see, or that maybe you can't see that's clear there, will dry clear. But I think by the time other paints get mixed, it, mixed into it, it should be not a problem. I'm gonna hit this really fast with a torch just to get rid of any bubbles and maybe provide something else. Ouch. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and keep right on adding shovelfuls of paint. And I'm thinking I'm going to try and keep some of my negative black space. And I'm just, like I said, that was a Mysterious that used to be available for Art Minds. It isn't. This is a Venetian Blue from Modern Masters. This is a turquoise color shift from Folk Art. I'm not sure what this is. It's an iridescent pink. And I'm looking for that color purple. And maybe I, what was I looking for? That lighter colored blue, which is somewhere right there. I found it. It's the, uh, it's the Venetian blue with Arteza white pearl or Sargent's white pearl or Anita's white metallic. Should I go from the other side just so I have a chance to start differently? Mm, yep, I'm gonna do it. More gold. I like the gold too much to, to not put it in there. Come on, come out. I'm gonna try and get a little bit more so it goes over the edge. And I don't want the same patterns, and I'm going to let my shovel drain. And my theory is, as long as I have colors that I love, something will work out. So far, so cool. More gold next time. Who knows, this might just be really simple. Just add the colors you like and watch as they become an abstract artwork. I think I'm going to go for, hmm, I'm going to risk it. Where's my green gold? Green gold is a color shift from Folk Art. I'm going to use the turquoise. 
color shift from folk art. The green, the turquoise, I'm not sure what's called. This is called emerald green now. It didn't it used to be, it used to be um, minty green. I have some turquoise. And I have some dioxazine purple somewhere right there that is probably a master's touch. And I think in for Penny, I'm going to add some more of that color that I like right here because I don't see much of it in there. I also have an island blue from Anita's that used to be called Bahama Blue. And I think I'm going to have some of that as well. Let's see if I can force a little bit of that gold right down in there. Now if I start away from the end, maybe I can go back. Did not keep much of that green gold, so I'm going to be perfectly happy. To use some more of it. Now, who knows what I'm going to do with this? I'm just, this is basically just me starting. I do have an edge catcher, but my paint bottles are on it. So give me a moment, and I will attempt to grab that in case I need it. This could just, like I said, this could just become really simple. Just laying down shovels full. But I do think maybe it's not a bad idea to torch, not just to release the bubbles caught in the paint, but also there's a potential for re releasing some patterns of cells if I catch it early enough on. I am going to bring all of that right over to the edge with my finger and maybe steal a little paint also. Let it go over. Now, I like all that, and I could stop. <laughs> I really could. It wouldn't hurt my feelings a bit if I just stopped right there. But I'm thinking, what else do I like to do? And I am trying to think about that. Because I can. That's the name of my first book. It's on the link tree. The Amazon link is on the link tree. It's under show more under the video. So that doesn't hurt my feelings any, but it's not the answer to my prayers either. This is the purple flash from Folk Art. If I stop and squeeze it, it will make a drip, which is kind of what I'm thinking I'm after by leaving that little pocket there. The question for me is which way do I want it to drip? I'm going to try and leave my... What was I going to say? I don't know. I'm going to try and leave my edge catcher up on the tile. And when I need to join things, I'm just going to use the dull end of my skewer. Or there, in this case, maybe the, <clears throat> the sharp end. It has some paint on it, so it's not so sharp that it's dangerous, too dangerous to go through the canvas. All right, so those will probably all change. And I'm just adding colors that I like. And that is my plan. Pretty simple plan. Try not to worry about incomplete marks. I might be pretty darn close to um, tipping, being done tipping with this. I'm being very patient with the, with the marks I need to lead. 
There, I'm kind of like really enjoying that very much. I have a color I didn't use in anything so far. And I love using these two colors, oranges, together. And maybe some gold could be added to that. I think so. That's kind of fun. Might be some dots in my future, too. Let's do some more gold. Let's just make something that wants to pretend it's dimensional. And if I never get to that other end, so be it. I've got a few minutes left. Got some white pearl. That I'm thinking about adding into this. Right. Soon. Where are you, white pearl? Show yourself. There we go. This is dangerous because it has a large... I opened the top quite large at some point in time. Whoops. So I like that stark contrast. Yeah, I know I have orange on my skewer. But I'm definitely thinking that maybe I'll do a black and white end. Or maybe I'll just combine all those colors. I'm thinking more red. Maybe I will do another shovel full. But I think I'm going to use a fresh shovel because that one's got a lot of green in it. So I'm going to start with that red metallic. Go for a little bit of everything I've already used and more of this color that I hadn't used yet. Throw some gold in there. Maybe I'll throw some white pearl in there. Do I dare? I guess I do dare. <laughs> Let's see. I'm looking for orange. Yeah, I think this one needs to be dominantly orange. I don't have any yellow in there yet. And my yellow is plugged. Okay, well, I want some yellow in there. So thank you for being patient. Which reminds me, thank you for all the wonderful comments you guys leave me all the time. And uh, thank you for all the donations that help keep me painting all this time. They're not coming in much anymore. But uh, if you're interested in helping support the production of videos at the studio and keeping me coming back to YouTube and bringing you more videos, then um, know that there is a monthly drawing. And you can find the exhibition video that shares the prizes in that drawing on the end screens of any video. How about a little more of that white? Maybe some of this Amsterdam, what is it, pearl. As I, as I recall, it sort of came out whiter than I imagined. I'm going to throw a little more of, of that neon pink in there. We got Thunder Boomers outside. I hope I'm not wrong about this. I'm being called to add the Venetian blue. And let's hope that my muse is, is right about that. has come. So whatever else I might want in that, I should think about putting in there right now. And I kind of think it's gold, or yellow rather. I wonder if I'm correct. Maybe. Yeah, that's not hurting my feelings any either. Now it's up to me to just choose colors that I like that will complete this because I think I'm not going to tip and I do use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my mixtures so that I do have a very good chance of getting away with that 
without it being a problem. So this is probably a Hobby Lobby brand Modern Masters that I just add iridescent girl, uh, <laughs> yeah, I add a girl to it, uh, iridescent pearl fine from Golden. All of my bottles on top of my edge catcher again. I'm going to want that torch in a second. And I'm going to just have to reach over if there's something else I want. Now I've got dribbles in my shovels. And I've got Princeton Archel Catalyst Spatulas. If I want to do something with those dribbles, now's the time to dribble away. Yeah, I'm not minding that. Maybe the shovel contents are going to be the dots. I think I like that orange for dot concept. I might have to put a few more squirts of paint into my shovel. I kind of like the way the dots or dribbles or whatever you want to call them are breaking things up. I am going to go over here and use my other shovel and I think I'm going to put some purple in this one. I've got two minutes to tell you guys I do sell my artwork, and my email address is under the link tree underneath the video. And if you use it, use the, um, make sure to make a note of the hashtag that's in the title of any video that you happen to be have an interest in making a purchase from. I think there should be some gold in there. So that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm okay with this. This is a way different. This is def definitely me composing, um, deciding what I like, and use using it. I've used up most of my paint. I'm going to torch really quickly. I'm going to let any of these little round end lines become melded with whatever they've run into as best I can. I think I'm going to grab some more of that beautiful blue that's got a mixture in it. Am I? Are you going to keep coming out for me? Oh, I guess you're going to definitely come out for me. That might not even be the blue I thought it was. Although I'm not sure where I put it if that isn't it. I'm going to have to use the torch again. So, thank you for all the wonderful comments you guys give me all the time. I really appreciate that. I think I said. And thank you for the donations that help keep me painting. And definitely look for my books, because I can, and Unlimited Possibilities, on the Amazon link that's included under the link tree that's right under the video. I'm going for the gold. She went for the gold. Especially since I see, it gives me one more minute. And I should say, please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Watch the videos longer. That helps my standing on YouTube. Not that I can compete with my, my, uh, my current contemporaries at all. So just know, whenever you're here and you can watch when the notifications come out, you are impressing YouTube that I am worth seeing. I am definitely going to do another gold line right up here and maybe even another one there all right so I love you guys there's over 90,000 of you and uh, check out my videos there's over 1600 of them on playlists 1 through 16 100 each and topic by topic and uh, make sure to check out the drawing on the end screens of any video. There's an exhibition video on that, that video. Oh, you're gone. All right. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Look for the exhibition video if you're still here. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Thank you for everything. I'll see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.